Welcome back to Ramona Home. This is day eight of the 12 days of Christmas. We are heading back to Los Angeles, California right now to keep decorating my client's home. So far, I've shown you how to put the garland and the lights on the banister and then how to make the wreath that we're gonna be using on the mantle. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to decorate her mantle using that particular wreath. And if you have not seen that video, it's going to be linked down below. We have about an hour and a half to go. Um, I'm gonna keep driving, went up for a stop for a little snack and I will take you guys along, so keep watching. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick the fireplace because it is absolutely gorgeous. This is where the wreath that I show you how to make in the last video is going to go. And we're gonna make a beautiful swag that swags all the way down to the floor. And it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous with a matching motif on the corner. And the reason why we're only doing one swag on the corner is because our Christmas tree, as you guys can see right here, it's right here. And so we're going to decorate the Christmas tree to match the mantle too much, we're gonna have the wreath and then the banister which is on the other side. So let me show you where that is, come with me. All right, you guys, so on this side of the house, they have this beautiful banister that wraps all the way around and I wish you could really see how the chandelier sparkles. So what we're going to do right here is we're gonna do a beautiful Neil Post arrangement, draping in ornaments and greeneries and we're gonna swag all the way around the garland um, it's gonna have different points of interest that are gonna match not only the new post but the wreath on the fireplace, the Christmas tree. And why don't I just shut up, get going, and I'm gonna show you the very first step is going to be to fluff all of our garland for all of our stairs. We're gonna get that ready and I'll show you a few tricks on how to fluff your garland. So keep watching, be right back. So I didn't wanna lose the chance to show you guys how to attach the garland at the bottom to make it swag to the side. And we're gonna do the same on the fireplace but right now, for right now, I wanna show you that you grab a bristle and then you pull and you attach right here. And that's gonna force your garland to go to this side because I really love the way it looks just draping all the way down. And so now we're gonna go ahead and attach another garland right here and start swagging our staircase all the way up. So keep watching. All right, so we're gonna now get started decorating this mantle. I'm super excited because we're gonna use the gorgeous wreath that I show you how to make on day number one. And that video is going to be linked down below. But before we get crazy decorating, I wanna give you a few tips on how to protect your mantle. Okay, everyone, so I wanna talk to you real quick before I add the garland to the mantle about the command hooks. This is the best way to add a garland to a mantle. It is our job as decorators to protect any belonging of the customer. So I went ahead and got some of these command hooks. Now here's two things. You have to get the heavy kind because the garland is pretty heavy. And then also we're gonna put some ornaments and some rims, which is gonna make it even heavier. And then also the other thing I wanna tell you is do not put your command hook straight up because it will push your garland forward. So what you wanna do is you wanna give that command hook a tilt. So when you put your garland, it will drape it to the side. I'm gonna get that done, put the garland up and I'll be right back with you, so stay tuned. Okay, so now that we know how to protect the mantel piece on our fireplace, it is very important that we fluff our garlands. I cannot stress enough the fluffing is a lot of tedious work and it really does destroy your cuticles. However, it will make a difference when you're laying your garland and your lights. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna drape this garland on this beautiful mantel piece and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is the garland we're gonna put on this mantle. At first I thought that I wanted to do a swag to the left because I'm gonna have a Christmas tree here, but because, it's, uh, because this mantle is so grand, I wanna give it a treatment to go all the way down to the floor on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically gonna grab my garland and make sure that it's evenly distributed, and then I'm gonna go right here in the middle, and I'm gonna need help. Jameson, he's Hi. coming, he's coming. Safety first, so you're, if you are decorating, put your mask on. We're gonna go ahead and drag all the way down. Let it swag a little bit right here in the middle. Okay. Just a little bit. Pull your side, pull your way, pull your way. There, hook it to the hook right here. And then with the bristle, just go ahead and twist them. And once your garland is installed, just go ahead and give it a light fluff. But remember, don't fluff till the end because we're gonna put some lights on this. Um, you don't wanna waste all of your time fluffing and then have to re-fluff, so. Okay, as you guys can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous now that it's all put on the 
on the mantle, I do want to mention this is two garlands that you join in the middle just by twisting those bristles. So this would be about 18 feet worth of garland and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous once I'm done with it. So if you want to see what this looks like, keep watching. All right, so this day was a little hectic, you guys. We had a whole mantle to decorate and a Christmas tree. So once we laid the garland, not only on the banister, but then also on the mantle, we took a break for lunch and then we decided to proceed by setting up the Christmas tree. All right, you guys. So the next step is going to be to set up our Christmas tree. And you guys have seen me set up Christmas trees. However, I do want to talk real quick about the quality um, are you, you're gonna see when I decorate it, but also when I fluff it, this particular Christmas tree has a lot of space between branches, which it will allow for the ornaments to really hang. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the selection of ornaments that we got. So the very first thing you need to do is get your Christmas tree out, select the pieces that are gonna go in first, find your stand and get it all set up. So I'm gonna set this off camera because you guys have seen me do this many, many times. It'll take just a minute, so I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I want to take a second to show you guys how I string the lights on a garland. And I'm going to do the same on the uh, banister. But what I like to do is I go as far up as I can. And then I grab one of the bristles and I pull it up. And then I go far down as I can. I pull a bristle and I bring it up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm zigzagging the lights. And the reason why I like to do this because it is super easy to rip them out. I'm gonna show you guys, whenever you're getting your garland down and you wanna save your lights and your garland, all you have to do is pull it and it'll come right out if you do it that way. If you continue to twist around the lights, then it's gonna take you forever to get your garland and your lights down. I'm gonna continue putting the lights on this garland and I'll be right back for the next step. Keep watching and I really hope you guys are having fun. Okay, so I've come to the end of my first string of lights and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna plug two of them now this one come with the tags, go ahead and rip them off. Unfortunately, I don't have my scissors right now, but rip them off and then what I want you to do is grab them right here on your finger, twist them around a few times, then fold them and grab one of your bristles and just twist it around and that will hide all of your mechanics. Then you can continue to swag your lights onto your garland. Very easy. Now this string is 150 lights and I wanted it to be 150 lights so we can go around twice. So in the evening, it really, when you dim the lights, it shows really beautifully. So I have a lot of lights to roll, so keep watching and I'll be right back. All right, so we are taking a little lunch break and I wanna show you right here, the elves are fluffing that tree real fast. Here's the stairway, getting ready to put the lights on and the mantles over on this side. I cannot wait for you guys to see everything that we're doing here, so stay tuned. All right, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the next step is the funnest out of them all and we're gonna get to decorate with beautiful ribbons and ornaments and picks and it's just absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna show you step by step. The bad news is that when we were recording, well, at this point of the day, we were all just really tired. So when I got to lay the ribbon, the microphone was off. Um, so I'm gonna have to like do a fast time lapse here. However, I do have a video where I decorated the mantle here in the house and I'm gonna link that down below. So you guys can go watch the step on how I laid the ribbon and the bows. But now is the fun part, which is to decorate the rest of it. And I think you're really going to enjoy it. All right, everyone, as you can see, I laid the ribbon on the mantle right here, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It matches our stairway and is going to match our tree and as well as the wreath that we already have pre-made on a previous video for this fireplace. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these uh, sprays that have the poinsettias and all of these sprays and glitter foliages on each point, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you. How about that? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a bend like this. I'm gonna insert right here where the bow comes out. Then I'm gonna grab one of my sprays from the garland. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist really good. And look how just one spray adds everything that you need for this point. I'm gonna disappear for a second as I grab another one so I can do it on this side, not without always fluffing. 
And my little elves helped me fluff these sprays today. So I'm so thankful for all the help that I got today putting this beautiful home together. So once again, just go ahead and give this a bend like this. Insert your spray, grab some bristles. And this is what I've been telling you guys all day about buying a garland that is a 16 inch width because you can literally just use all of these bristles and twist and look at that, it'll hold it in place. So go ahead and fluff and look at that. So all of this needs is a few ornaments right here in the middle. I'm gonna do sprays going down on each side so it looks more bulky and more substantial. We are all done here and before I show you what the mantle looks all decorated and decked out for Christmas, I want to take a second and invite you to come and join me on Instagram for exclusive content, daily Insta stories and all of the behind the scenes of this particular series and future videos. All right, you guys, let me show you what this mantle looks like. I hope you like it. All right, so that was so much fun, you guys. We still have the Christmas tree to go, so this is not over yet. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Right now, we're gonna stop at Shinoda Design Center while we are here in Los Angeles and get some more product to decorate my patio. So I'm gonna show you how to decorate a patio in an upcoming video uh, for not only the holidays, but just for winter. So how to make it look wintry. So it's gonna be part of our series. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to come back for the rest of the 12 days of Christmas. So what do you guys think? I really hope you enjoy the way this mantle turned out. As I mentioned to you before, the wreath is going to be linked down below as well as the video on how to lay the ribbon in case you want to see how I do that. I want to take a second to thank this client for allowing us to come into our home all the way to Los Angeles, California to decorate it. So far we've done the banister and the mantle. We still have the Christmas tree and I'm still going to show you how we finish the mantle to match all of it. It's going to look so cohesive so pretty so i hope you will continue to tune in i cannot wait to read your comments so leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think and if you are as excited for the rest of the 12 days of christmas thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye